yes hello everyone in this video I will um, I will mention some uh, considerations that you need to be aware of when you um, at the first day of your trial basically when the uh, examination chief is uh, in progress and um, this goes both ways this goes uh, for the plaintiff as well and the defendant as well so the number one consideration um, before the examination chief begins and before the uh, adversary starts uh, when basically the adversary starts uh, uh, submitting his uh, evidence into the court uh, into court you need to uh, be aware of is uh, know your pleadings inside out and know uh, what's being roughly speaking what's being stated in every paragraph because you will uh, need that uh, is going to be your uh, your life source. It's going to be uh, your way of controlling the procedure. And just know that your adversary will have um, a bag full of tricks, and um, he will legit le legitimately uh, try to use it if you don't know his case and your case well. So, since you don't know what's being said yet, um, you need to know what's going on in these pleadings. Um, and this brings me on to the next uh, consideration. Uh, you can you should raise objections when the examination chief is in progress. And the only way to do that is just as I said in the first consideration, only by knowing the facts of uh, the other party's uh, pleadings and also knowing your pleadings. If you know the facts of the other party's pleadings, then you uh, you will effectively limit and uh, raise objections over any relevant facts that will tend to cause further trouble and um, and prejudice the the judge and um, you can uh, th thus you can uh, argue that they are not contained within his pleadings uh, the only uh, and and thus they are irrelevant and that if they were contained you would have been able to prepare your defense adequately and counter them right or you would have been able to prefer your uh, defense to counterclaim adequately. So if you are the um, the plaintiff, so know your facts straight. Know know them very well. Know them perfectly. Um, then my third point is another consideration is that the judge, which may be as usually uh, will be the case, a busy judge will try and uh, put some undue pressure on the parties to uh, uh, requesting a certain admission of facts which he possibly thinks that should not ha should not be in dispute. However, if you feel very uh, very strong about certain facts that you don't want to be admitted, you need to know that they're in included in your pleading. You don't want any last uh, raffling through your pleadings and trying to see uh, to uh, try, trying to see uh, uh, which uh, facts the judge actually uh, requests to be admitted and trying to relate with those facts. If you know what you ask for, if you know what you want, then you know you will be able to put forth an intelligible argument and thus uh, possibly um, um, make the judge see your point in refusing to admit this point, this fact. Uh, another reason is in order to be able to control the procedure. Whatever is going to be said and admitted in evidence is going to be more or less ple uh, based on the pleadings. You can control the procedure. You can uh, you can, for example, cross-examine the, uh, the, 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 the witness, uh, mentioning to him that, you know, uh, with, with regard to his credibility, uh, by way of juxtaposing what he mentioned in the pleadings and what he's actually saying now, or if he si what he's saying now is actually not uh, included in his pleadings, or is totally different than what he claimed in his pleadings and you know ask him why he is uh, bringing forward that kind of evidence where he was pleading totally different facts to the case uh, and I'm talking about I'm talking about facts that are relevant but I'm talking about uh, I'm not talking about actually facts that might be relevant but I'm actually talking about uh, facts that are totally different from uh, what is actually claiming today a court through his evidence the facts that he claims through his evidence 
So know your pleadings well, know your facts well, and this will allow you to have um, the upper hand and if not, control the procedure and be confident in uh, dealing with your case during uh, the examination in chief and generally uh, the trial. So thanks very much for watching. This is purely for informational purposes only and subscribe to my channel for more videos like that. See you later.